touch this. You can't touch this. Break it down. Well, this week's episode of Talking Footy. I'm your host, Sean, and with me as always, the self-proclaimed champion of the universe, my man, Dan. But, uh, oh, you know, I, uh, just sort of winning as usual, you know how it is. Breaking news, though. Yeah. It's a boy. Not the royal baby, but Sean's new son, Jude. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm. Mate, I'm a, I'm a proud father. It's quality stuff. It is. Mate, around the grounds last week, we had the Warriors spoil Bendy's Leichhardt farewell, mm -hmm. a Raiders down Parramatta in one of the most forgettable games in history. I don't Shit, yes. I can't even remember. Terry Campese was there, that's about it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Roosters embarrassed the Sharks, yeah. 40 to naught. Oh, mate. Mate, Newcastle finally got a win away from home, yay. Yeah. Dickheads. No, uh, get some Panthers. Panthers, but boy... Doesn't actually kind of some answer for. Mm -hmm. um, and Manly beat Titans at Brookie. Mm -hmm. And Monday Night Football saw the Steelers. Surprise, surprise, sneak one away against the Bunnies in Golden Point. Mate, uh, it, was, it was everything that was wrong with Golden Point. Uh, massive re regular field goal a thon yeah. there. Um, until Dugan said enough of these shenanigans. Let's play some football! <laughs> broke the line and uh, put... Somebody in, I can't remember who it was now, but they won, so that's yeah. a thing. Yeah, just do. Yeah. Uh, go figure. When he's not drinking on the rooftop, he's killing it on the field. <laughs> Anywho, now's the time for our... Oh, it's not even in this favourite segment anymore, but I'll get to that a bit later. Mm -hmm. But who is Shithouse and who's shit hot? Mate, uh, I touched on it before, but Shithouse was Raiders and Eagles, the game mm -hmm. on Saturday night. If we weren't playing Parramatta, we would have got our asses handed to us by any other team in the comp group. Mm -hmm. I uh, mean, crappy attack was the order of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, dropped balls, you know, that was just a thing. I know it was raining down there in Canberra, and, you know, but Canberra didn't show up, but Parramatta never show up, so. More drop balls. 14 nil. More drop balls in a year nine <laughs> change room. <laughs> I don't know about that, Sean. <laughs> Shit, hot this week is one of the uh, No Neck brothers, uh, one of our favourites, Brett Morris. B Morris! He uh, had a two try blinder against the Bunnies <clears throat> in the best game of the round on the other side of the ball there. Uh, yeah. Oh, the other side of the ball. The other side of the coin, yeah. whatever you want to call it. But Dragon's, uh, yeah. money. Dragon's money. It's a good game. Yeah, it was. What about you, mate? Mate, shit house for me has to be Wayne Bennett. Mm -hmm. The super coach. Pff, yeah, right. We all know we are super coaches. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> the super coach has come out and had a go at Ivan Cleary and the Panthers for trying to um, put up Cade Snowden's uh, oh, suspension for fair name Adam Docker. Fair and square in the face. Yeah. Now, he's got to go, oh, we all know it's through the media, we all know it's through the media. What are you doing? You're going through the media to have a sook and have a go and try and get something to happen at Ivan Cleary. Yeah. Face facts. Your bloke needs somebody in the face. At the time when Ivan Cleary said it, he thought he did have a broken cheekbone. That didn't make any difference to the fact Kate Snowden's a dick. All right? <laughs> So pull your head in, Wayne Bennett. You know better than that. Yeah, I right. hope your Newcastle team doesn't make the finals because you're an arsehole. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, well, next time I'll tell you how I really feel. Yeah. Anyhow, next is shit hot. Shit hot. Roosters. Shit hot. Yeah. Shit hot. Roosters. Roosters. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. That's five teams this year that have kept the donuts. Yeah. Like, yeah. Big fat donuts. Yeah. With a big score. Exactly. Well, Donut King have already increased their sales, but uh, the Roosters are increasing in betting. They're, people are down $3.50. Yeah. Three dollars so fifty. People putting money down. Mm -hmm. um, look, they're playing well. They're, they're led by defence. Ha hasn't happened since Brad Fittler captain them. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I don't think it's as good as a team they had when Freddie was there with Fitzy and that. But yeah, still they're, solid. They're definitely going to give this premiership a shake. Yeah, absolutely. No, now Dan. Yeah, mate. what's going on, mate? Now mm. is the part of the show ah. where we trek back in time in reminiscing. Mm. Dan. Do you remember Steve Renoff? Oh, mate, Steve Renouf. <laughs> He's, mate, I, I just remember his line breaks. He was actually one of the first footy players I remember with the old headgear going on there. Yeah. Uh, back when the Broncos had a more, more likeable team with the likes of um, Alfie Langer and, uh, uh, what was it, Mikhail uh, Hardenkook. Uh, yeah, no, they, they were going all right. Who, who else was in there? 
Andrew Gee. Andrew Gee. Uh, maybe uh, uh, Keyvine Walters. Walters. Steve, uh, the funny thing is, the whole time, Steve Runoff never actually went out and said, no, it's renewed. Really? Either way. No. We don't know. We don't yeah. know. We don't know. We don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. No, well, look, he, was, a, he was an unreal player. Yeah, he, he really was. was in the, he was a premier center of the 90s. And, yeah, the 90s, he, he had everything. Mm-hmm. And we were going to show you one of his tries, but he's, he's a Queensland. Yeah, and we're still right. pissed. Yeah. Fuck you. Big time. <laughs> we decide, we'll show you this instead. Take a look. Terrific clash of heads. He's got the ball now. He and Shevard came together with a hell of a crunch. You've just seen another classic, classic fuck up. up. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now, a little more serious note, if there ever is one on this show. Dan, I believe you got the floor with this week's Hot Topic. Oh, mate, you're damn right I do. And surprise, surprise, I'm going ape shit about referees. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> is it the constant rule changes that confuse them? Uh, maybe it's the fact that there's now two differing opinions on the field. Yeah. Uh, is Daniel Anderson giving them different rule books each week for the ultimate practical joke? <laughs> Fuck if I know, but the fact of the matter remains that week after week these clowns produce monumental hell as in just about every game we watch. Yeah. Now I'm not a solutions man, but even Sean can agree, especially after Klein's performance in the Newcastle Panthers match, yep. some sort of brain rep- reprogramming is in order or something. Sean, your thoughts? What do you yeah, think? Um, look, uh, there was always going to be a bit of a hassle trying to get the the Bill Harrigan psych out of the players because right. Harrigan was a referee on himself. He was a very good referee. But his style didn't work for everybody, and his, it obviously was horrible last year. Yeah. I think they've actually gotten a little better this year, but um, you know, when you get 90% of things wrong, getting 89% wrong <laughs> the next year isn't really that much of an improvement. <laughs> um, as a Panthers fan, I couldn't actually see it at the game. Um, the big screen didn't show it as well. Obviously, the TV showed a lot better. Dean Farrow, that was obviously a no try. But um, he missed an amount, like the knee to Kate Snowden. Yeah. Kate Snowden and Adam Dobby. That was. Everyone saw that. Yeah. Stevie Wonder called me and said, Sean, what is going on? <laughs> By the way, we're, we're recording next week. Like, Sorry, Stevie. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, there we are. Well, uh, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, it's the president, I said. <laughs> but I, I really don't know, because they actually started really well. Damn. Daniel Anderson came out with it, and it was working well. But what's happening with the, even the ex-players in the box? Yeah. Are they forgotten what's happened when uh, we play the yeah, game? Yeah, Luke Phillips and, uh, yeah. and uh, Luke Patton as well. Yeah, Luke Patton, Luke uh, Phillips, Henry Justin... Per- Henry, Henry Perrinard yeah, as Henry well. Perrinard. Justin Morgan, I can understand. He spent so much time running as a decoy, he wouldn't know what it's <laughs> like to actually play the game. But <laughs> the reality is, they're still getting it horrendously wrong. Right. And if the general public can understand that, why can't the people with the Yeah, when, when everyone at home is seeing the same thing and the guy on the field's not, it's like, what game are they watching? What, what, you know? You know what? Ah, it is? ah! You gotta ban smartphones in there, guaranteed. Someone's playing Angry Birds instead. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Whee! Yeah. If, if I pass this level, it's a try. Yes! <laughs> try! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. I love it. So, yeah, no more, no more apps. No more apps, that's it. It's killing driving and it's killing refereeing. Unless someone comes up with the correct decision app. Yeah. That's a thing. That's a marketable app. I reckon it is. I'd pay for it. Yeah. They use it in, um, well, they don't use it in the ashes at the moment, but let's go past that. Really? <laughs> well, time for our tips of the week. Now, if you guys have been listening, we... Killing it. Three weeks straight. Bam, bam, bam. 100%. Killing it. Oh, hang on. Cooper Cronk has them on the Dalian medal. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the old sleeper bit. So, uh, what are you laying it all on, Dan? Raiders kill dragons. Fact. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Rock beats rock beats Simmons. Paper beats rock. Raiders beats dragons. Fact. Fact. <laughs> Even a win stadium. Fact. 13 plus. Sean, what do you reckon? <laughs> I like it. It's good odds. Uh, I'm going to put in this one. Yeah. Barra's game this weekend. Mm-hmm. Alright, they've been getting a shellacking, and we all know how much I love Parramatta. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Anyhow. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a close one this week. Mm-hmm. I really think the la- last round they were yeah, against the Raiders. Mm-hmm. I think they'll put in and they'll beat the spread. Really? 1-12. They will lose, but it'll be 1-12. to 12. Okay. 
Well, what do you reckon the line will be? The line will probably blow out, so... <laughs> well, it depends how many people take my bet and blow the line out. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair enough. That's fair enough. <laughs> well, fair enough. that wraps up another stellar episode. Gee, we spun gold coming out of this guy. Well, I swear to God. We're killing it. <laughs> End of the season. Mate, the Just... dubious Stewart on fire. Mate, this show is brought to you by the good people at Josh Services for all your security needs and the eBay store, Phillips79. All footage you see on this show is thanks to his wonderful library, the good bloke. Check it out. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and go to www.talkingfooty.com. For your footballing needs, all your tipping needs, and all your gay fell bashing needs. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to go to Melbourne to do it. No. Just drive from your computer. Yeah, that's the wonders of the internet. We love yeah. it. You can do other bashing from your computer too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gay bash. No. <laughs> can we edit that out? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I'll have to talk to the editor. Uh, Miguel Sanchez yeah. doesn't normally. He's pretty high up on that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, on that highbrow humour. Ooh, so high. See you next week. Cheers, guys. And that's the end of that chapter. <laughs>